Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Mobile Device Center is not working on your Windows 10 device. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start button. Just off click on the Start button one time to open up the Start menu, I meant to say and type in Windows Features. Best manager should come back with turn Windows Features on or off. Go ahead and left click on that. If Net Framework is unchecked or one of them is unselected, you want to fill inside the box next to it. So just left click inside the square one time and then select OK. You should select let Windows update download the files for you.
Okay, so it should say Windows completed the requested changes. Go ahead and select close. And hopefully that would have been able to resolve your problem. So again, that should have been able to fix the problem, restart your computer. If that was unable to fix the problem, another thing we can try would be to insert a registry key. And before we do that, let's create a backup of our registry. So open up the start menu, type in regedit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best man should come back a registry editor, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on yes. Now go up and left click on the file tab up at the top, select export. For file name, save it as something that makes sense, so usually the date in which you're making the backup is what I would recommend, and save it to convenient location on your computer. Export range should be selected to all, and then select save. So pretty straightforward. And now that you've done that, we have the backup. If you ever needed to import it back in, I guess we can reopen the registry editor. So there should be a file automatically on our desktop. So if you double clicked on it, it should automatically reinstall the backup copy to the main registry editor. Alternatively, you could go and left on the file tab and then select import this time and just navigate to the file location. So giving you guys a couple different options there to work with. So once that's out of the way, open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match, should say command prompt, right click on that, and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go ahead and left click on yes. Now there's going to be two commands in the description of my video, I want you guys to copy the first one. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it, left click on edit, and then left click on paste to paste it in. Hit enter on your keyboard should see the operation completed successfully. Now you want to copy the second command, which again is off screen, so you guys aren't seeing me copy it, but it's in my clipboard now, so now once it's copied from my description, go up to the top bar of the command prompt, again, right click on it, left click on edit, and left click on paste. You could do control C and control V if you want to, it doesn't really matter. A little easier to visualize using the mouse method. So hit enter on your keyboard, like the first one, and it should see the operation completed successfully close out of here, restore your computer, and that should have been able to fix your problem. So, as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.